Hi everyone, it's me Lina again. Welcome to my YouTube channel and thank you all for checking my videos out. And today in this video I would like to tell you about things that you shouldn't apply on your face skin because they can be quite harmful and so on. I think that this information is very important and you definitely need to remember about those things and so on. Actually, I think that some of those things I mentioned in my previous video but you know repeating myself i really want you to remember those scenes to remind you about them again and so on so the first scene is quite obvious but something that we use a lot in general and it is soap bar so you definitely shouldn't use it on your precious face because it's gonna dry your face skin it can actually cause some aging because of the dryness also it can create even more acne also because of dryness and in general it's just not so good for your face it is not meant for your face so the thing is and i really want to repeat it again there are products that are called face soap the thing is they are different usually they are not real soaps and they are just gels or stuff like that they are made with different stuff like ingredients are different, the texture and so on. So if you want to try that kind of product, you can actually do that. You will have to probably research it and just read about it. Usually they are just different. They are not real, you know, soaps. But as it comes to regular soaps, just don't use them on your precious face. Your skin is important and yeah, you really need to take care of it and so on and even if you buy some really nice soap from a nice brand i still wouldn't exactly use it on face so be aware of that because it can dry your skin badly and the second thing that i find very well also obvious i would say not to use on your face you know something that i wouldn't use on my face it is alcohol just don't rub it into your face don't try to apply it and so on it's not a good idea it can dry your like face skin badly it can cause irritations redness and so on and it's gonna make your skin very sensitive i actually am guilty of it i used to do that i don't know why but I noticed that many people think that alcohol can make your skin, well, I don't know, to dry it and sort of like reduce acne, which is not true. It can actually create more acne and so on. The only thing that can actually it can actually do is to sort of like stop maybe bacteria from spreading, but still, I don't know, alcohol is not something you should use on your face because it's just not right it's not good for your skin and it's gonna actually cause lots of troubles in future so if you have oily and maybe oily skin and some acne you better actually use moisturizer and some other things that can prevent your acne to spread and so on not alcohol because it can even like burn your skin to be fair obviously it's not gonna be like visible burns you know but this is what it does it's quite strong also my advice is to avoid skincare products that consist alcohol but nowadays it is quite difficult actually i use some products that consist some but well just make sure that percentage of alcohol is not that big if it's possible to check somehow and so on Anyways, number three things that you shouldn't use on your face is body lotion. So body lotions are very different. They are not meant for face skin. They can clog your pores. They can irritate your skin. And also some of them have the strong smell that is definitely not good for you, especially if you're gonna apply it like close to your face, even before bed, it can cause some sort of distraction and you will have bad sleep and so on I think it is quite obvious but definitely body lotion can clog your pores if you're gonna use it on your face skin and irritate your skin so this is what it actually does it is very different texture of the product it is not meant for your face only your body so I would say that it is much more harsh than 
face skin products. And number four, very similar actually scenes that I'm gonna name, it is baby body lotions and I would say baby skincare products, you know, different creams for babies and so on. Well, it's not meant for us. It's not for adults. First of all, it's not gonna be absorbed by your skin very well because uh, adults and babies have very different skin. I'm not very good in explaining this because I'm not an expert, but I know this and also I know from personal experience that uh, baby skincare products can create little layer on your skin and it's just gonna remain there or if you try to rub it in even more it's gonna just like get like in little small amounts of the product and it's not gonna do any good it is a waste it's not gonna be absorbed by your skin it can actually cause some even harm so why to do that why to do that <laughs> you're not baby anymore so <laughs> if you're not a baby you shouldn't use it yeah definitely be aware of that because it's a waste definitely and just not so good it seems like such a good decision because obviously they try to make products that not gonna irritate skin and so on you know for babies but it's not good for mature skin or even for just adult skin like meaning for even young adults it's not good so believe me i read about it a lot and apparently it is it seemed to be truth you know from my personal experience too so i wouldn't do it i wouldn't uh, use uh, baby oils baby lotions <laughs> or lotions for babies skincare products creams for babies it's not for us adults <laughs> just uh, not a great idea not gonna also moisturize your skin deeply as you might want it to be and by the way i need to mention it is not uh, regarding your face skin it is also for your body you shouldn't use it even on your body skin yeah <laughs> And the last thing that I wouldn't recommend using, or at least I would say you should avoid using on your face, are oils, like coconut and so on. Oils, not good, especially for people who have problems with large pores, like I actually do. So I wouldn't use it, it can clog pores very badly. Though I need to tell you that there is a list of um, oils that are sort of that can clog your pores less and those that can uh, clog pores very badly so maybe you can research and if you think that it's a good idea for you to apply oil on your skin maybe you can try but i wouldn't do it it can actually create more problems well i noticed that lots of models suggest that to apply oil on your skin but i don't think it's a good idea especially for people with um, large pores <laughs> problem you know just try not to do it also i think you call it in english like virgin oils so basically those that are um 100 or around that like natural yeah oil this is how i understand it maybe there are some details i mean yeah you know what i mean like the real oil i don't think it's good for your face it's not gonna do any good if it's in cream maybe but just by itself i don't think so so why to do it why to do it because someone does it because someone advertises it i don't think it's so good but it's up to you if you think that your skin is fine and if your skin doesn't have a large pores too i would say this is you need to remember because this is the thing that you can maybe do if you don't have that at least but it's your of course face skin so if you decide that it's gonna for some reason uh, moisturize your skin or something like that which i'm not sure i actually did that mistake too i'm guilty of applying uh, oils on my face in past a lot so well i don't know i would avoid it it can cause uh, even more damage and like not good things for your face skin anyways let me know what you think maybe you have some sort of questions just comment down below 
I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, give this video thumbs up. I'll see you soon. Wow.